Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bio, Bio 103, Hemobiology Section 71A and 71E. My name is Brian Sohan, and I'm going to be the instructor for this, for this section. So what I wanted to do, I just want to put a brief uh, video in place. Uh, we could go over the syllabus real quick. And um, in addition to that, we could just go over the different components of Blackboard, just so we're all on the same page here. Not too much to do on week one. I just want you, want you to spend some time familiarizing yourself uh, with what's going on here. But when you get on here, right, when you sign into um, Blackboard, your courses should appear here. So you want to find the right one um, for your section. We have 71A and we also have 71E. The 71E is just for lab. We don't use it. So you could ignore it completely. Uh, the 71A one is, is going to have all of our stuff on it, lecture and lab. So you click on that and that opens up the home page. Um, here we can see I've already created an announcement. And over on the left-hand side, this is where all the magic is, right? Um, the discussion forum is there. I created a discussion, uh, introduce yourself to the class. A couple, a couple of you have already, and I've enjoyed reading those. Um, so, yeah, get on there and just tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, with these asynchronous online classes, I really don't get to meet you or get to know you. So this, this is all we got. So it's, this is kind of an important thing. I, I'd like to learn a little bit about who's uh, in the class and hopefully you can learn a little bit about about me as well um i said this already in my in my post i my full-time job i'm a science teacher down at newberg free academy i've been working part-time at the college at night i started there in 2011. um in fact i took the college course human body and i created a high school course out of that course so i teach the, the same thing the human body um, down here in Newburgh, I created that course down here for about five, year, uh, five years ago, and it's been going pretty good. So um, getting back to the to business here, when we're looking at the um, at Blackboard, uh, a couple things you really want to uh, pay attention to over here on the left hand side. We got a link for the syllabus. We have um, something called content and weekly modules. And if you open that up, um, this is where every week there's going to be a folder. So these are not visible to you right now. Uh, the only one that is visible to you is week one. And if we open that up, there's a couple different links to the syllabus. I provide the syllabus in here. I provide it over here on the left-hand side. Um, there's another syllabus link here. Um, but starting at the top, just some minimum requirements that you should have in order to complete this course successfully. A good computer, good internet connection, good web browser. We use Chrome as the preferred web browser. Um, getting uh, help. If you're having technical difficulties, you can contact the help office. I mean, the help desk, rather, um, using this phone number or through email. Um, these are their textbooks. This lab manual is an absolute must you, you have to get it because you're going to be doing labs with me uh, through the videos and you're going to be handwriting things into your lab manual and i'm going to be asking for specific pages that you're going to need to submit all right so make sure you get a hard copy of this lab manual it's an absolute must you have to get it this week the textbook is provided here. It's a link. It's online. It's free. Um, you click the link and it takes you right to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, there is one assignment that I put up and it's just, it, it's just practice really. Um, so what it is, is uh, you go to page three and four in your lab manual when you get it. And it's just like it says, it's just a sample page. There's some rules on it. All I want you to do is sign it, scan it, and submit it. So these videos here show you how to scan your document using your iPhone um, or how to scan your document using uh, 
you know, a different kind of phone, like uh, whatever the other phones are called. Um, what do they call them? I forget. Um, whatever the non-iPhone ones. I don't know. I only have iPhones, so I don't know what the, the what are they called again? Oh, Samsung or something like that, right? So you, there's a there's a um, an app called the Genius Scan app. You could download that, and then these videos show you how to use that. Or you could use your documents. That's the best way to do it. Uh, you use your notes. So, for example, if you have an iPhone, you have notes there, right? Where's the notes? Up here above my thumb. That's not coming in so good. But anyway, if I just hold that down until it, you know, it has this list that comes up. And one of them says, scan a document. So I could scan that document. I hit that. And then I just take a picture of whatever I want to uh, turn into a PDF. And then it turns it into a PDF. And then I can submit it. So it's perfect. It's so easy. So we're going to practice doing that. And you're going to get 10 points for that, which is like, oh, my God. It's, it's so easy. Easy 10 points. We're, we're all starting with 100. All right. Uh, let's look at the syllabus. Um, in fact, here's our syllabus here. I'm kind of in the way. Let me move out of the way. Um, these are the meeting dates. We have a course description, some learning outcomes. You could read this on your own time. The textbooks are up there as well. Um, just telling you some basic expectations, blah, 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 blah. You can read all this on your own time. This is kind of important, though. How are we going to calculate your grade? Uh, I'm going to give you five lecture exams, but we're going to drop the lowest one. So each one is 100. Well, you're going to take five and drop the lowest one. So that's going to be 400 points. And then you're going to have three lab exams. So 300 points for that. I'm going to give you a couple assignments. Assignments can include, um, you know, like the 10-point assignment that I gave you. Uh, I could, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, a disorder project. We might do two of those. Um, and then submitting pages from your lab book will be um, graded as assignments as well. Uh, so there will be 100 total points. So all the graded assignments will equate to the same weight as, as, a, as, a, as an exam. And then lastly, we're going to have a final exam that's going to be cumulative. It's going to cover all the things that we've covered in the course, and that's going to be worth 200 points. So you'll, your grade is out of 1,000 points. The lab activities will, will be done on a weekly basis. I'm going to throw videos up there. Um, I'm going to have the lab book up and open on the videos. I'm going to be filling it out, and you're going to be filling it out with me. Um, The final exam is going to be on the last week of school. Uh, just scooching down. You could read this on your own time. It's nothing too important. There are academic support systems in place. There's a couple links here that you could access if you need um, um, help. And this is important here. This is our schedule. Go over this. So anything in uh, the pink side, this is lecture material and everything on the right-hand side. In the blue, this is lab material. So you can see for week one, and I've never put a syllabus together, I don't think ever, or I didn't make a mistake. Okay, so I'm sure there's mistakes in here. Um, there always are. And so this syllabus, you You'll see after a couple weeks, I'll probably take it down and you'll see another one say, saying revised because I realized I made a mistake somewhere. But, you know, hopefully this will be the first semester where I don't have any mistakes in my syllabus, but I doubt it. Uh, anyway, the first one is just to read all the documents that are in the week one folder. Practice using uh, the discussion forum to introduce yourself. Practice submitting that lab paper, that page three, page four um, signed document. And that, again, that's worth, that's 10 points. Uh, so, so it's a very easy opening week. It's just becoming familiar with Blackboard. It's becoming uh, familiar with, you know, the syllabus, learning how to submit a document. Many of you probably already know how to do that. 
In week two, this is where we're going to start getting into content. So I'm going to put up a video of chap that covers chapter one, the notes, and then we're going to get into uh, lab number one. All right. Um, this says practice taking and submitting a lecture exam. We're not going to do that. We're going to erase that. See, there we go. There's my first mistake. I'm going to erase that for week two. Um, let's go back. And you can see this goes every week. We have our first exam on week five. Actually, we have two exams that week. One's a lab exam and one's a lecture exam. Before that, we're going to have to submit some pages from, from our lab textbooks. And you can see all the different things that we have here every week until the last week is our final exam. And we have a couple of days to do that. A couple of links in here as well, another link to the textbook. And then some uh, you know, basic technology requirements are here. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Let's go back to the uh, Blackboard. Another thing I want to show you over here is um, this tab here, it's called Lecture Notes in Lab Atlas. When we click on that, all the notes that I'm going over in my videos are provided here. So chapter one, we broke this down into two sections, actually. But then we have all the other chapters. They're all here for you. And these are PowerPoint presentations. So I'm going to have them up in the videos. You have copies of them there. If you want to print them out ahead of time while you're watching me go over what I'm writing on mine, you could write on yours. It's a good idea. Uh, another thing we have in here is this lab atlas. When we open up the lab atlas, it's kind of a big file. It's a big PowerPoint file. It's pretty large. It might take a while to download, uh, depending on your speed, your internet speed. Um, but when you open it up, it is a very valuable tool. It's a great study guide. It goes, it go, it covers a lot of the material that we cover in lab. All right, so we have some microscopic observations. And it is, um, you know, when, when, when you hit this uh, button down here, it's inter it, this program is interactive, right? So what you're seeing here isn't really what, how it looks. If you hit this button down here, this projector, the slideshow button, and you start it, now every time you hit the space bar, you know, things pop up. The objective lens, the eyepiece is 40x, the magnification is 400x, field diameter, we go over that and all that. And then we keep showing, you know, keep hitting and it highlights all these different things. And, you know, what you see um, in the in the raw version might be, might look a little different. So it is kind of important to hit this slideshow button and get it into its interactive form. But it's a, this is a very valuable uh, study tool. This will help you to, to prepare for the um, for the lab exams, and we do the obviously we're, we're doing the pig dissection virtually. So all these things are in here. This is great. Okay. Um, so you know you want to just remember that that's over there. The lecture notes and the lab atlas. Everything else should be in this content. This is where we're going to be coming most of the time. Um, I hope this answers some questions for you. Um, you know, just check in, go to the content weekly tab here. And, you know, every week you're going to see a new folder and there's going to be new things to do. And, and that's really about it for now. Okay. Um, good luck. If you need me, I don't really hold office hours because, uh, you know, I don't work at Duchess full time. I'm, I'm never there. This, this is an online course, so I really don't have a reason to be there. But you can email me. And if we need to, we could uh, meet virtually um, using uh, Blackboard Collaborate. So if that ever if it ever comes to that, I can show you how to do that. Uh, and we can do that. We can meet. All right. Okay. Uh, good luck. And don't worry. It, it seems like a lot, but it's, it's, it's very manageable. And you're, and you're going to be fine. Okay. All right. Good luck.